What's going on, everybody? This is Childish. We're back at it again with a brand new update for Destiny 6. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of those new features within the update. We'll go ahead and do a quick review on Caesar, the new natural five star from the Medina Kingdom. And as always, we will do some summons at the end of the video. Uh, as far as any information that you're looking for, you can go ahead and click the notification button uh, here at the notice button to go ahead and take a look at the recent update. But uh, since there was a little bit of miswording on some parts, we're going to go ahead and look at it in real time. So you guys can kind of see some of the changes uh, that have been implemented. So first one of which we'll take a look at the guild icon. As you can see, the guild icon is now here on the bottom right versus the bottom left. I do like that particular change. Obviously, I mean, just in general, there's a, quite a bit of stuff going on in the, in the user interface. But I feel like the guild um, is a big part of the game. That aspect of PvP is a big part of the game. I do believe it belongs on this section right here. So uh, we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. And take a look at some of the features within the guild window. Uh, this is the overall management of this. They really changed it, I believe, for the better. Um, the conquest mode now showcases the daily ch challenge limit uh, right below, whereas in the prior two, you used to have to click on the button and then find out to see if you still have, um, you know, you still have a couple of challenges that's left to do for the for the uh, day before it resets. Uh, this is pretty cool. They have a little bit of change here to showcase some information on uh, the outstanding guild members within your guilds. And then as you can see, now we have a little bit of uh, a new look. Um, now we got a couple of things that were pushed on the right. Now they're over here on the left. A little bit more organized, and I think it is for the better. The guild emblem now can be changed, and so we're going to have some options to go ahead and change it out. Uh, the options here are not too bad at all. I like them. We'll go ahead and just change that one for now. Obviously, we'll, we'll mess around with it later down the road. Uh, and then, of course, now we have a little bit more information on the guild um, so that if you guys are... Uh, curious on kind of what we do here that can you can find out that information right there okay um, quest wise uh, there has been quite a bit of a change on here in the previous version of the game we used to have just the daily quest and then the weekly quest you know available so that you guys can see and then now we have this new feature called special quest where we can obtain uh, some rewards by spending our guild points in order to get these quests and then fulfill the requirements of these quests in addition to that, we have an opportunity to refresh this list so we can get uh, different quests and uh, different you know different opportunities for rewards. So that's a pretty unique uh, change. The guild skill, um, as you guys already know, they have it has been revamped a little bit. The current one that we were running was the eight percent uh, adventure goal, which obviously I will always take that. Right? Uh, we we need as much gold as possible, but as you can see, we have. Um, some uh, different options that you can go ahead and choose. Uh, this is obviously all of the options that is sorted down if you are looking for something in the adventure or if you're looking for something system wise to improve you know certain you know heroes or skills. And then we have a couple of guild options. So if you want to increase the vice leader or increase the overall guild member limit, uh, this is good. I like this option because again, uh, you know, any uh, if you have an opportunity to increase like even the guild members, the amount of people they have, that's uh, more people to go ahead and assist you in improving the rank of your guild. So I like that. Um, I like being able to just chat with more people. So that's pretty cool. Uh, managing guild uh, looks like this is more or less all the same, just showcasing the guild members. Uh, the info, and then the course of receive request that we've got, and then the guild shop. Guild shop looks the same as well. No changes on that. Um, I believe the guild booster is the same. I'll have to take a look at that. But that this all looks the same here. Doesn't nothing looks like it changed in this front, but that's okay. I will gladly take it. Now, one of the things that uh, have been talked about quite a bit as far as uh, this game is the maneuvering around the game and one of the you know options to do that is the dice so I, I believe now the dice is rotating if you guys see that here the dice used to not rotate now it is rotating so uh, one of the features that they recently changed here is this uh, big window so this is supposed to be that one go to uh, you know window to go ahead and like shortcut your way through uh, the different you know features of the game so this is going to make it a little bit quick for you uh, prior to you guys remember the dice used to come up and have to you know used to have like four random you know options and you can you know click a button to kind of switch those options now it just goes straight to this not only uh, gives you a couple more uh, options to go to to make it a little bit easier for you but now it provides your resources for you on the side so even though it is a lot of information to your way it does clean up a little bit of the uh amount of clicks that you need in order to get to where you want so that is good i mean obviously there's always room for improvement there but i do believe um that that change uh was uh, for the better so we're going to go to the world map as there has been some changes uh, implemented there we have a new quick adventure 
we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So I think this is going to be available for the Awakening Dungeon, the Evolved Dungeon, and or sorry, the Evolved Dungeon and the Tower Promises. So uh, once you get it cleared, you're going to be able to do a quick adventure. Um, it's going to give you a notice that just, just so that you know, um, if you do it, the XP for the account as well as the heroes will not be obtained during this quick adventure. So uh, once you click it, <clears throat> uh, you will go ahead and get the rewards without doing the actual process. So this does speed speed it up for some of the players that have clear content and just want to push through it. Um, you know, obviously uh, for for some of us that have been playing the game for quite some time, it literally only took uh, thirty seconds. But now we have you know even more of a way to kind of speed things up. Considering how this works, I don't really know what I think about that right now. Obviously, you know, if they if they improve the speed at which we clear stuff, I get that. But I'm, I'm curious to get your feedback on that. What do you guys take? You know, what's your guys' take on that? I don't mind it, uh, obviously, but because um, it just, you know, allows me to uh, get through the weekly, you know, or the daily, uh, you know, quests, you know, a little bit quicker. But uh, I'm curious to see what you guys feel on that. So that's a new feature that they've added. And now we'll go back to the world map and take a look at the... Uh, new changes. Uh, if you guys didn't see, if you go to Corsaic uh, Dungeon here, we have the new name and of course the logo for the two things we got going on. Instead of Daily Dungeons, now it's Awakening Dungeon, um, which is pretty interesting. And, and now we have an opportunity to collect all of the uh, different elements, the pieces that we need for the different elements uh, at any given time versus having to do those uh, at you know at one day or the other here. So I've always been accustomed to that in, in a variety of games So I was fine with you know, just making sure that I keep a track of what days that it is But you know, of course, it's make it a little bit easier There's nothing more agitating than not having the pieces that you need uh, And then having to wait like four to five days in order to you know, awaken that unit uh, so that you can you know, take advantage of the uh, You know uh, stats that you're gonna be able to get from it. So the Burgoon dungeon just used to be the enhanced Burgoons now they have uh, an opportunity for you to get the Evolver Goon. So obviously this is a huge improvement. Um, there was a little bit of uh, uh, talk from the community as far as, you know, getting to a particular a particular part in the game and not having enough uh, resources to continuously involve and improve some units. You used to be very limited on monsters and even some people went as crazy as uh, taking some of the, you know, duplicate nap eyes and using that as evolution material just to, you know, continuously, uh, you know, you know, improve the units or, or six starter units that they want to because as you guys know in this game uh there is no reduction of stats uh, when you move from like four star to five star five star to six star it's actually a, an improvement it keeps on going up so it's a pretty big uh it's a pretty big bonus for you when you have an opportunity to evolve a unit so now you're going to have a couple more uh, evolution materials so you can get that done uh, i think that ascendant done is nothing has changed on that aspect everything is uh, pretty much the same right there. I always recommend guys to take a look at this, especially for now. Like this week, you have Soho available. So this is obviously really good. Soho, one of the better natural four stars, making sure that you're taking advantage of that as well. Uh, Giant's Dungeons, that looks uh, all the same. Nothing was to change with that. I think the biggest things here were the Burgoon and the Awakening Dungeons. So let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at, we're going to go to the Hero section. Or actually, we'll go to the Codex because we're going to take a look at this new natural five star uh, by means of Caesar. Now, this is, I have an interesting opinion on it, but of course, you guys are probably already going to expect what, it's, what I'm going to be talking about. So, this one, you know, kind of shocked me to say the least, but at the end of the day, I, I kind of think that it's it's probably in line with that that realm of, like, the Elki, you know, one of the superior uh, units in the game. So, we'll take a look at it, okay? So, Natural Fire Star, Medina Kingdom. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the rock version first of Caesar. So, first skill... Uh, AOE damage, uh, attack scaling is going to be a 400 attack. And then notice that this is one of the things that was kind of worded a little bit weird in the picture that they provided. Uh, it also has an additional AOE attack to nearby enemies for eight seconds. So, um, if we're going to showcase the, uh, uh, the preview so you guys can see the skills, but basically it's two different attacks uh, or it's one attack and then it hits a second time for everybody that's around it. So that's pretty interesting. Um, we have a uh, an opportunity to burn the target for 7.5 seconds and a small chance to decrease the defense for 50, or by or decrease the target's defense by 50% for 8 seconds. As this improves uh, to level 3, a little bit of bonus on the burn uh, and then of course a 2 second improvement on the uh, uh, defense break. But the, the percentage still remains the same. When we max it out though, when we bring it up from level 4, it looks like it is uh, level 4 to level 5, now we get a little bit of improvement 
uh, in, in for this uh, for this particular skill. The nine percent, seven to nine percent on both. Uh, so that's that's obviously nice. We'll take that all day. Uh, skill two. This is the one that kind of got me <laughs> thinking, like, oh my goodness, right? So uh, we got a breaking ability that provides a pretty decent chance to stun for four seconds, right? Uh, Fifty percent chance to decrease the target's attack for eight, and spotlight the target for six. And for those that don't know, spotlighting the, the ability that allows us to improve the chance of receiving a critical hit and doing critical damage. So it's really a nice, it's, it's one of the better debuffs, I feel, in the game just to provide overall DPS. And so um, this is obviously pretty, pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and improve it uh, and see where we get. Looks like at level three, we're going to get the uh, breaking bonus. It's going to improve from two points to three break points. We'll get a little bit of improvement on the attack debuff there, the duration to from eight to ten seconds. Um, and as we move up, it looks like the spotlight improvements won't change until the last go, which I like that. I like that change right there. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited that they made it so that, you know, one of the bigger changes that you're going to be looking for is going to be at the final one. You know, one of the things that I've always talked about was some of the big improvements in units were available at level two or level three. So that once you got those, it discouraged people from ever upgrading them down the road because they basically had what they want. So I think they're going to be making a change uh, for that in future units. I hope that they consider that for some of the uh, units that they decide to change some things around. Um, but, you know, overall, uh, obviously this 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 unit is just without a doubt Again, the next generation of OP monsters. I know that we talked about it in a previous video about the whole power creep and having to having all these new units come out and having just so many things implemented within these units that it, it makes it crazy not to go for them. Like you almost have to go for them. So you know, currently right now the Destro boss is available, and when you think about this unit, you got a defense break, you got the burning uh, aspect, you have a breaking ability. Uh, an additional debuff, and then of course the spotlight. I mean, that's that's all in one. So this is this. I mean, this this Caesar guy was basically made for Destro. Obviously, uh, the aspect of, of breaking and having a spotlight in one skill that's pretty OP because we already know that once we uh, provide the break and we essentially break the unit, we're going to already have an opportunity to do more damage right within that limited amount of time. So having that spotlight ability available and then of course an additional debuff even though it doesn't really matter during the breaking point he's not going to be attacking you um it's still really really nice uh and again for the destro boss i mean this is like the perfect unit for destro you have literally everything you want the burning the breaking the spotlighting i mean it's it's really nice so if you guys do pull it i know you're going to have fun with this unit um this uh skill here disable duration of rock heroes with 20 percent. okay not too bad I, I do feel like it's a it's a nice little bonus. Um, remember the disabling ability um, is going to allow those uh, that breaking time to stay, uh, or sorry, the the disable duration uh, for those skills. Like so, for this one, the fifty percent chance uh, or sixty percent chance to stun for four turns, uh, four seconds. This is going to be a little bit of improved. So when we think about uh, locking down your opponent or locking down the boss, uh, PVE wise, uh, you know, obviously if you're using like a break. You know the breaking element and you break them then you're going to have that duration of time but let's say we're talking about pvp having a uh five or six seconds stun versus a four second stun is is nice it's beneficial it allows you to uh save some of your other skills and chain them you know as they become available and, and save a little time between the, the between the downtime of your skill so i, I like that i like that uh, option again it's limited on rock hero so it's not going to be super op um i like that aspect this kind of blew me away. This skill is just so much utility in one, and because of that, it has, or due to that, you know, I would have thought that it would have had a little bit higher strike point, but it doesn't. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good here. We'll take a look at the preview so you guys can see uh, the skill and see what it kind of looks at. So again, we're gonna provide that uh, first skill, the AOE. You're gonna see it hits one time, and then everybody within that within that range um, is gonna be taking damage. Now take note there. This is the uh, 800 damage, right? The 800 damage for eight seconds. So this is something that I didn't even pay attention to. This aura essentially provides additional damage um, just throughout that whole time. When I was reading it, it was just, you know, I thought it was just an additional like second hit to provide 800 attack, but it's actually a essentially a, a, an aura that allows you to do damage over time. So this is, this is pretty darn strong. Obviously, I thought, I already thought very highly of Caesar, but this obviously uh makes things that much harder the damage output that this guy can can do um is looking really promising really really promising so and and again i think 
now that I think about it, it makes sense because the chances of the chances, the percentage chance of landing the defense break as well as the bring was super, super low, and it did not get changed uh, all too much, right? So, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that there had to be some kind of mechanic that, you know, allowed for multiple, op- you know, multiple changes to hit, which now makes sense because of the aura uh, that was set forth. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the uh, second version. I believe this is paper, right? Yeah, we got the paper version right here. Uh, all right, so his skills are a little bit different. We have a status activation debuff. Uh, we have a buff removal, and we have a shield removal. So this is in line with the Scissor Shaolin. You know, we this is I think this is the second unit that is available now for you guys uh, that has uh, both the buff removal and the shield removal. So this, you know, PVE wise, you know, most of those uh, big bosses and whatnot, you can't even uh, remove those buffs. Um, some of the buffs on there, like like Destro or whatnot, you can't remove. Uh, the buffs that are in purple. Obviously, for something like giants and whatnot, if you're fighting it down and uh, the giant pops up his shield, that 20 second shield that you have to deal with, this should you should be able to clear it on that. That's going to be fine. But like the Destro boss, and if we ever get into the natural five star descendant dungeons, some of those bu- uh, buffs that come up as purple, those are immovable. You cannot take those out here. But either way, PvP wise, I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, anytime you have that buff and shield removal is really really nice. It just saves. Uh, you uh, an additional slot within your team so that you can use them to essentially counter the opponent and whatever they're bringing. And of course, uh, you know, PvP, everybody's heavily reliant on buffs and shields uh, depending on their composition, okay? So improvement-wise, it looks like we see a little bit of improvement uh, throughout the levels as far as damage and duration. I'm checking to see if we have an improvement on the buffs, and it looks like, again, they did good here. Uh, from level 4 to level 5, uh, allows you to remove the buff from a target times two. So this is good. Um, now, funny enough, the Scissor Shaolin, this buff removal improvement, I believe it's from, I believe it's when you go to level three. So if you have Scissor Shaolin versus this one, obviously uh, you're going to have to, you won't have to invest as much um, Ragoons into him, skill Ragoons into him to get, you know, what you want. But that's not too bad. Again, obviously status activation is something that um, I would definitely take, you know, take with this one. I'm, I'm, I like, I like the kit overall. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, next one up, we get a damage improvement by 40% for 10 seconds. And then we have an opportunity to shock the opponent, 7% chance to shock. So again, similar to, uh, Rock Caesar, it looks like there's going to be an AOE kind of aura that's going to be able to do damage for eight seconds. Um, as we improve here, we'll see the damage improvement and the duration on the, uh, offensive buff go up a little bit. Um, a little bit of DPS there, and then from level four to level five, we do have a small chance of improving the shock, and the duration did go up as well. In addition to having that fifty percent uh, bonus in the fifteen seconds, so overall, not too bad, not too bad. Let's take a look at the leader skill. Looks like it's going to be based on his faction and improving the damage uh, by fifty percent. Again, that's okay. That's not uh, that's not too OP. Uh, that's not really that OP. Um, this one here, again, 5,000 strike points for a lot of things that are going on. So this is nice. This could be something that you could throw in the mix for your striker position if you need if you need that utility. But again, for me personally, I like I like uh, having this available as I need it. You know, when the striker uh, skill, you know, you have a striker skill, but it's not going to be available right away. And so you never know if they have some kind of team that revolves around shield that's going to cast this stuff right, you know, you know, at the very beginning of the fight. You want this skill to be available as you need it. So... Let's take a look at the preview, and let's figure out what what how things look. So, here's the AOE. Ooh, a lot of multi chats is here, and then of course a big uh, AOE kind of finish. I, I I ain't gonna lie, this looks <laughs> that looks pretty OP. If if anything, I almost would get him and and, and use him just for the overall look of the animation. Got to give a shout out to Netmarble there. They really put forth the effort. And some of these new units and showcasing, you know, uh, some of the cool animations of that. I mean, that that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, so here's the damage over time. Um, that man, that looks really amazing. So let's take a look at that. And of course, yeah, this is going to provide the buff as well as the damage over time. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm really digging the look overall, and I like that they're starting to implement these auras. Uh, uh, quite a few. Quite a few unique mechanics for these new units that provides uh, a reason for them to play around in not just the PVE, but in PvP. So I'm I'm definitely down with that. Um, one thing I did want to take a look at was one of the last changes that they made on Rock June. Um, this is one that kind of got me 
a little up in the air about. Now, I don't know if you guys uh, took a look at it already, but this is something that apparently they're calling it a bug. Uh, the second skill, uh, Iron Stance, was a skill that provided an opportunity to you know reduce the cooldown of your abilities uh, by four seconds per head. And of course, if you improve it, it's going to go up to six seconds. Now, from for the longest time, I mean, I, I feel since like the game has been out, apparently this skill has been uh, reducing an ally's skill cooldowns, right? Um, by six percent per hit, six seconds per hit. Now, this has been doing like if you had a, a unit that had their two two skill cooldowns um, uh, down, right, and they were like they were on a timer, they would improve both for them. Um, but now they're saying that it was a bug and that it's only going to improve one of the two. Uh, skills on an ally. So if you have an ally that has cooldowns on both skills, it was going to improve both of them, but now it's only going to improve one of those two. So this may help balance out a little bit of the the craziness from Rock June, but honestly, um, I don't really know what to think about that. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. They're calling it a bug now, yet it's been out for months. You know, what what's going on? Why didn't they notice that? Is this a uh, kind of a, uh, a way of essentially you know, bring it down or trying to balance out Rock June so he's not, you know, crazy overpowered. Um, again, I'm just surprised that they randomly called it a bug now after after it being out uh, for quite some time. I feel like this is something that have, should have been looked at, you know, prior to the launch of Rock June, like if they did another, a, enough uh, testing and whatnot. So um, I'm, kind of in, I'm kind of indifferent about that change. Like, I'm just kind of up in the air about that. Like, I don't know why they're calling it a bug. It looks like they just wanted to throw in I'm a silent earth, but again, I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys. Um, that being said, I, you know me, I always thought that Rock June was was a little broken. So if, if that balances out a little bit, then I'm all for it. So, but either way, that's the majority of the changes. Uh, a couple of uh, changes overall. Uh, you know, I do like the improvements. I feel like the even though there's a lot of things going on in this UI, I feel like the reorganization of a couple of things have definitely improved it for the better. And now. Uh, with this uh, new unit, we got a couple of different options to mess around with. And hopefully, uh, for some of you guys that really haven't invested um, or all too much into the faction bosses, I mean, you, uh, the cool thing about it is you could just get in there, do it, and, and get the rewards. Um, now, if you're looking to push the envelope, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, people will be incorporating uh, the Rock Caesar in their team and, and starting to get some big numbers because, again, he provides just so much utility in one unit, okay? So... Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just check this uh, window. I don't remember if I have, uh, I, I thought I might have had random scrolls. I got a couple of loose scrolls that we're going to go ahead and summon. And then we'll go ahead and do maybe a couple of 10 plus ones to see if we get lucky. Now, I don't recall because I'm a, I'm a failure at life. I don't recall if I actually have room. Um, speaking of which, since we're already in this section, I got to give a shout out to them. One of the organization tools that they allowed is to be able to take a look at your monsters before you get to the, uh, before you get to the Ragoon. So for those that, you know, have seen this, once you get here, you had to scroll all the way down to find your thousands and thousands of, or to go past your, your, your crazy amount of Ragoons. And then finally, after you scroll down, you know, two years later, you would get to your, you know, three-star monsters that you're looking for. So this is going to make, uh, things a little bit easier, uh, for you to organize. And so I'm pretty down with that. All right, let's go ahead and pop these scrolls. We got five Loose ones, and then we'll probably do two templates ones. Um, and I've said it in the past, guys. I'm not a, I'm not a, a huge fan of doing like ten plus ones anymore. Um, but it's been it's been a weird, it's been a weird couple of weeks. I don't uh, maybe I'm just not uh, grinding as much whatnot. But I feel like I've with the addition of you know the uh, uh, you know changes and the uh, achievements and the daily quests, the the breweries that you can obtain through. Uh, the faction hero, um, you know, just everything that's available in this game. You're, you're, we're just getting a lot of resources now, and uh, you know, generally speaking, I was, I was doing a lot of farming. I was doing a lot of farming, um, you know, prior to. Uh, now I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm doing it here and there. I'm not doing a lot of overnight farming as I've had in the past because uh, I've just, I just kind of like sat, sat back for a little bit, waiting for things to, a couple of things to improve. So. Uh, I, it's funny. I think the last time around we had a little bit of luck on our loose scrolls. We did get a natural five star, but um, not this time. Not this time. So, uh, since since Caesar, you know, funny that I get a lie. I was just gonna do a normal summon because there was so many, there was so many uh, new units that I wanted to that I wanted to do. Or sorry, there was so many 
new, uh, other Nat Fives that I still needed. I, I wanted the same chance to get everyone. But for the simple fact that Caesar's skills just look amazing, like, <laughs> I'm going to do it for that reason. I'm doing it for the wrong, for the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. We still don't have um, quite a few. Rock Benito, Scissor Elkie, um, a couple of, you know, of, of some of the more, uh, you know, newer, you know, cr you know, good monsters out there. Um, oh my God, we actually got a new unit. So, hey, this is good. Uh, this will go into that collection codex. So we'll be able to, you know, awaken him, uh, get him on board. I think I still need a couple more um, for the, uh, what's it called? For the, uh, for I think Inua faction. I think Inua faction, I need a couple more for the natural five star. So should be pretty I'm pretty excited to finish that out. So let's see if we get lucky. We do get lucky, but I don't want to count my blessings just yet. We don't know what we're going to get. Um, as of late, you guys have seen we've been getting quite a few um, quite a few duplicate monsters. We have quite a few natural five stars. So let's go ahead and see where we're at. Looks like we just got one natural five star. So are we going to get lucky and get the new unit? Um, no, we do not. We get another one for Scissor Colada, unfortunately. So... We'll go ahead and call the summons right there. That's unfortunate. I thought we were possibly going to get that new unit, but it's all good. Uh, I do wish you guys the very best in doing the summons. Like I said before, Caesar's uh, kit in general, just just overall amazing. It looks like we are getting a little bit closer to that free natural five star, so we'll probably uh, be able to have that you know, in a future video. But that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. That's the update for this upcoming month. A couple of changes. I believe the majority of them are for the better. Again, you know, my thoughts on the Rock June are pretty, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty surprised to say the least there. But again, it did, I, if it comes down to making a couple of changes to, you know, kind of get it in line with some of the other units out there. Obviously, you know, Rock June was night and day. Uh, just super strong, you know, better than quite a few of the units out there. So now as it has been, essentially nerfed right uh, brought down a little bit what they're calling a bug so that's my thought on that as always i really want to hear your feedback on this update please put it in the comment section down below uh, as always if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys all in the next one take care